Hello, y'all. Today is prom. So this is going to be my last get ready with me for prom ever. I say this like I've done multiple of them when I've literally just gone to prom like one other time. Currently, it is 11.42 and last year, I think it took me like four hours to get ready for prom. But I also didn't do my nails at home last year and I have to like try to get all my makeup and hair stuff done before I do my nails. And you might be like, it took you four hours to get ready for prom. What can I say? I am a perfectionist. And also last year, I had no idea what I wanted to do for my makeup or my hair. So I guess that also took a while. But this year, I still don't really know what I want to do for my makeup or my hair. My dress this year is pretty different from my dress from last year. So I'm going to do a different look. I might still add some rhinestones because what can I say? I do love some sparkle. This year, I wanted to go for a more traditional like Chinese dress for my prom because I've always wanted to wear something that's more representative of my culture to a school dance but I did not do that for like the past three school dances I have gone to so I decided my last school dance I'm gonna go all out for makeup I don't know if I should keep it simple or more dramatic I know I definitely want to do something sparkly but I just don't know what color eyeshadow I want to do because I don't think I'm going to do something super colorful. Okay, I've decided on the eye look. I know I literally haven't even started doing my base, but I think I want to do a more neutral brown eyeshadow type of vibe, but a pop of color with like some shimmer and glitter. I think I'm going to do a periwinkle color because I grabbed this palette and oh, something just fell. And here there's like a really pretty purple, like light purpley blue shade. Okay, you literally can't see it right now, but it's very pretty, so we're gonna see what I can whip up. Alright, first I'm gonna start with my base, and I'm gonna just do what I usually do for my base. Because I don't think I'm gonna like try anything new today, but first I need to put on some sunscreen because I did not do that earlier. This is my favorite sunscreen. It's from Neogen, and it smells like lemons. Also, this is not really a tutorial for the makeup look. I don't really even know what I'm like fully doing yet. But if you guys like the finished look, I can always post a tutorial for it later. So yeah, just let me know. I feel like high school dances are hyped up way too much. Personally, I'm not much of like a super extroverted person. So I don't really enjoy spaces with a lot of people, especially if it's like sweaty and hot and it's very cramped. But for like prom and homecoming, I think I just enjoy being able to hang out with my friends and taking pictures and getting dinner and stuff way more than like the actual dance and going to the venue. But this year, our venue is the Nature and Science Museum and that sounds very exciting because I do love me a good museum. Last year, it was also at a museum, but it was at the Children's Museum and I feel like because I'm no longer a child, I just was not that entertained. Also, a little life update. This year, I actually have a date, like a real date to prom. And that has never happened before. Anyways, I bought a monster when I was picking up the corsage. So maybe I will have a little monster later. Cause I definitely am gonna need a little boost before going to actual prom activities. Anyways, I am so excited for graduation. Now, I know this is a prom, get ready with me, but it's April and next month is when I graduate. And I graduate on May 20th. So, I don't know, it's so like a little bit more than a month away. And honestly, I'm just so ready to be done with high school and to move on with my life. I know that sounds so aggressive, but I am ready to do something else. And I'll be going to college next year out of state and I'm quite excited. TBH, right now my senioritis is quite bad. Um, see, cause I didn't want to believe that it was a real thing. Cause I was like, oh, I'll never get senioritis. I've been fine for like the past four years, but Honestly, it's been hitting so hard and I just haven't been as motivated, to be honest, ever since I committed to the college that I picked 
my brain has been on autopilot on school. The college I'm going to is in New York State and I'm quite excited. Like last year I was really obsessed with NYU and I wanted to get in so bad, but I got waitlisted this year. <laughs> but honestly, like that doesn't even bother me that much because the NYU tuition is crazy. It's like actually <gasps> mind boggling. I'm gonna put on some blush. Maybe I'll even contour today. To be honest, I never really contour my face other than just my nose but I'll contour today. <laughs> As a round face girly, I don't really have cheekbones. Uh, so I contoured my cheekbones kind of, and then I snatched on my jaw as well, and then I also contoured my nose. Lately, I have been trying to do some more like colorful eyeliner, but I don't even use eyeliner. I literally just use this lip pencil from MAC. It's this very nice like plum dark reddish shade and it's freaking beautiful. The color is Night Moth, and this is like my favorite thing of all time because I also use it on my lips and I use it on my eyes and I think because I use them in two parts of my face, it just really makes my makeup look more cohesive. I also have this palette and there's some like fun shimmers in there. See, there's like another purple. Yeah, there's Another bluish purple. It looks way more blue on camera than it is purple, but I promise it's more of a periwinkle shade. For the eyes, I vaguely knew what I wanted to go for because I think originally I was thinking that I could do a more neutral, just like beigey base with the shadows first, and then I can like deepen it with a mauve or something to like go with the periwinkle shade I was gonna use, but. I kind of just went for it when I was doing the eyeshadow. Did I look at any reference pictures? Not really. I'm glad that it turned out the way that it did because I actually did end up really liking this look. But for a while here, I was not too happy with it because I was like, oh no, I made the outer parts a little too dark and I didn't want to go for a super smoky eye. But I think that highlighting the center of my lid did help to tone it down a bit. I think the shimmer is definitely the main focus of this look. I really love the way that it highlights my lids. And also, I just think Periwinkle is so pretty. Like, I think it's definitely one of my favorite colors ever. I layered the two Periwinkle shades I showed earlier, and the camera does not do this color justice because it was so pretty in real life. Like, every time I saw my own eyes, I was like, oh, wow. And as for my lower lash line, I kind of just did the same thing that I always do, which is I accentuate my egg yolk cell and then I like drag an eyeliner brush along my lower lash line to emphasize my eyes. I thought the eyeliner looked a little too boring, and I also saw this post where someone on Xiaomi highlighted the top of the eyeliner with concealer, so that's what I did, and I think this leveled up the eyeliner a lot. I accidentally messed up like the sparkly line here because I made the front part a little too thick, so I was like, hmm, what can I do? Well, I found these little pearls and like rhinestones, and I was thinking maybe I could do like either a pearl and then a rhinestone next to it, or two pearls. I might go with rhinestones again just because my eyeshadow overall is pretty sparkly. And I think a pearl would look better with a more matte look. My camera died, but I added some rhinestones here and here. And then I also added some lashes to the bottom. And now I'm going to put on some fake lashes. For the lips, I knew I wanted to use my MAC lip pencil, so... That's what I did first, and I contoured my lips with the lip pencil so that my lips can look plump and juicy. And I also used a lip tint that I didn't show, and this is the final look. Honestly, I'm very proud of the way it came out. Hello, we are in my bathroom, where the lighting is horrendously yellow. I'm gonna try to do my hair now. Do I know what I'm gonna do? Um, the answer is still no. I probably should have gathered some like inspo pics but I didn't. Maybe I can just make up a really cool hair stop. Okay, this definitely looks like a mess, but if I have to redo it, I will redo it. So I just put it half up, half down, but I feel like that's a little too bland for my dress. So we're gonna figure out how to like make it go like that. This is very messy. I'm scared. Hold on, let me just let me try. Oh! That's... 
it's something. Hello, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, the hair did take a lot way longer than I expected, and right now it is 3.41, and I have to really hurry because I also need to get changed and then put on my nails. But anyways, this is the finished hair. I'm not gonna show you all the back because... But, now let's go get dressed and then I'll go do my nails. Here is my dress. I'm really excited. I just really love like an embroidery on this as well as like the fur accents. These tights I got from Spirit Halloween. I might wear them backwards because I do like the design on the back more for this dress. And now for jewelry, I'm gonna go for all silver like I usually do because the dress has silver accents. Here are the earrings. They're just these like Vivian Westwood ones. They are not real because that's a lot of money. So first we have this one and it's just the little orb pendant but this next one kind of looks like a fake piercing almost because of this hook right here and basically you put this into your low piercing and this one can go as high as you want and of course i'm also gonna wear a necklace this one is a sword and for shoes i'm gonna wear these black high heel mary janes because they're the only black high heels i own Okay, so I just changed, and this is the final fit. I don't have like a special bag this year, so I'm just gonna wear whatever black handbag I have. But yeah, this is the fit. All right, now I go fix my hair. I did change my hair a little bit. I decided that like trying to put it up wasn't gonna work, so I put it half up, half down. I think this is the best that's gonna get. But anyways, I also added this collar chain these are some little beetles and i think they just make this whole outfit a bit more fun right now i am going to try and speed run doing my nails because like these little stubs don't go with the fit and i only have like 20 minutes to do them so we're gonna see how fast i can do this here are the nails okay so i'm gonna go do my nails off camera because if i do it on camera and i'm talking i'm gonna get distracted when i'm talking and then i'm gonna only have like one hand done by the time my friend arrives. I finished the nails. This is what they look like. I'm not gonna lie, I, I did not like trim the actual nails to fit my nails because I did not have time. But from afar, it looks fine. And these are just press-ons from Taobao because I don't know how to actually do my nails. Oh yeah, now I have to go for real because my friend says she's gonna be here at 5.15 and currently it is 5.13. Oh my God, she's here. Okay, I have to go for real, goodbye. Hello y'all, we are at the prom. My nail fell off. Anyways, here's like a song. So only one exhibit in the museum was open and that was the minerals exhibit But honestly, I love to look at pretty rocks and here's some footage of the dance floor This was taken when it was the most crowded and I didn't go in during this time because it was a little stinky and scary But I did go in later now cue the photo montage Take a wait, so